Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Houston Astros taking on the New York Yankees. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set. And today's starting pitcher, Carlos Rodon. Well, that 12 to 6 curveball explodes out of the hand. And because he's able to throw the high fastball at the top of the strike zone for a strike, hitters commit to that pitch. And before they know it, they're swinging over the top of that curveball. All right, ready to go here. Here's Kyle Tucker. The wind of the pitch. That just misses. And we're underway. Rodon ready. Here it comes. There's a strike. And here it comes. That misses the zone, and it's two and two. This one lifted in the air, left field. And that one gets down, fair ball. And that's a double. He went up there and got it. With two strikes, I'm not going to leave this in the umpire's hands. I'm going to be aggressive. It was in a location where you could get those arms extended that he loves to do. So nice job right there coming back in that at bat. Here's Mauricio Dubon. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Tucker leads off second with nobody out. Swing and a ball popped up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Batting third. The left fielder, number four. Now we check out the Astros lineup. This is a veteran led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. Your Don Alvarez in the box here lets that one go for a ball. One out and a runner at second. Next offering is in for a strike. Alvarez, who's from Cuba, he grew up idolizing a future teammate, Yuli Gurriel, who is 13 years his senior. That one lifted to left. Cabrera settles underneath it. He's got it, and there's two away. Batting four, the second baseman, Jose Altuve. Jose Altuve up to hit here. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. Started to go after it. Now we'll look down to first. Runner at second, two down. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. 
Rodon ready. The 0-2 on the way. Swing, and that's ripped towards right center. Oh, he dropped it. The run comes across, and the Astros score first. It's 1-0. To second, and he's safe. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. So up next, Chaz McCormick. First pitch, not close. Rodon fires. And that's outside. And now 2-0. Well, no need to go right at this guy. First base is open. He can hurt you. So make him expand his zone. If he doesn't, give him a walk. Rodon to 2-0. And that's in for a strike. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. And perhaps the best pitch you'll see in this at bat to hit. Strike two. And there's a ball. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. Rodon sets and deals. Now fly ball to right center. Judge getting an angle on it. And the inning is over. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. It's now 1-0. You're dialed into the show. Back here in New York. And on the hill, Framber Valdez. It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. Bottom of the first. Leading off. Leading Florida off, Yankees. Harrison Bader. The center fielder. Singy, you got to appreciate Harrison. a guy who's this good defensively. Bader. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. And there's a strike. He's so solid. Calms the heart rate of the pitcher and the manager when the ball goes up in the air. You just automatically assume that it's an out every time it's hit in the air. And a foul ball. There's one guy that I can think about, Boog who started as a third baseman, Alex Gordon, and then became an elite perennial gold glover out in left field. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. An absolutely majestic shot. And we're level. It's 1-1. One, one. Well, that one won't stay below the radar. That made a lot of noise. Let's break out the stat cast numbers. And Singy, it tells us this home run was projected at more than 450 feet. Yeah, and not many players can hit home runs as far as this one. That's a special feeling. And I'm sure he was giggling a little bit as he was jogging around the bases. That was one heck of a swing he put on the baseball. And now it's DJ LeMayhew digging in. That one ran inside, almost got him. The lefty to one off. On the ground. Over to Abreu. And that's the first that out. Nice good. recovery after the giving up field. the homer. As we take a look now at the New York Yankees lineup. They're dealing with a sinker specialist on the mound, which can be a big-time challenge when he's right, working mostly from the knees down. Well, I think the approach you take is really try to lay off of those pitches down in the zone until he gets some called strikes and then forces you to go after that pitch. Until then, make him elevated because guys that throw those sinkers, those two-seamers, really hard for them to be effective up in the zone. Those are pitches you can hammer. And when you get a cookie, you don't want to miss it. 
Aaron Judge. The batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. Tied up here in the early going. There's a strike. Chris Fromber Valdez has turned into one of the best pitchers in all of baseball. He's got that power sinker and the power cologne. And the power curveball as well. Just a joy to watch him pitch. It seems like he's been around a long time. Kind of an old soul, boo. There comes an 0-2 to Judge. Good eye right there. Yeah, just goes about his business, gets a lot of ground balls when they put it in play, and just loves being out there. And as for the cologne, makes him pitch better, he believes. I always thought cologne made me smell better. And he deals. Ground ball left side. Over to Abreu. Judge out on the play. Batting four. The designated hitter. John Carlo. John Carlo Stanton to the plate down. now. Singy, we think of John Carlo Stanton with the big time power as a baseball player, but he was actually recruited to play football at USC. Ball one there. Oh, he's built like a superhero, so that doesn't surprise me at all. And one thing about him is we talk about guys like Aaron Judge, John Carlos Stanton in the same conversation in terms of exit velocity. The pitch. And that one fouled off. The one two. Out to short. Over to Abreu. And they take care of Stanton for the out. And that is that. Another look at the long ball for the Yankees. All even now at 1 1. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Stepping in for the Astros, Jeremy Pena. Jeremy Pena. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball. And now the lefty. They say it went. One, two. Next offering upstairs. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level, have him look up. Now go back exactly where you want to go. The one, two. He goes down looking. No, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there. And I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Jose Abreu up to hit. Pitch misses inside. And that's ball one. Kick and deals. Our plate umpire, Earl Hendricks. Yeah, with Hendricks, boo, kind of interesting. He's a good, consistent umpire, but you do hear that he kind of favors one side of the plate more than the other. So it's really hard to know for sure, but I think that usually it has to do something with where he sets up prior to each pitch. Two, one. That one fouled off. The 2-2. Two -two. 
Got him. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. And now it's Alex Bregman. And that's in there for strike one. Bregman, who had a great career at LSU. He was the second overall pick in 2015 he wears that number on his back number two and singy he was a big Derek Jeter fan growing up in the air left field Cabrera pulls it down and he makes the catch and the inning is over Astros go down one two three score remains tied one one Back now in the Bronx, Leading bottom of the, the inning. Yankees. And now the first baseman, the first Anthony baseman. Rizzo. Anthony Rizzo. And a pitch. There's a strike, Valdez, a former All-Star. He features a sinker, a curb, a cutter, a changeup, and he works in a four-seamer. Oh, that's not that's off the mark. And the count even one and one. That misses off the outside edge. Left-hand hitter waits. Foul ball. Up the middle, Pena. On to first, one up, one down. Batting pick. No left fielder. Oswaldo. Oswaldo Cabrera, the next to hit. Bounce to the right side, and it goes just foul. One down, base is empty. One and one. Just missed. And it's even up. Well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. Kicks and fires. Got him. That's the second out. Well, that's a tough one to swallow as a hitter when the first base umpire rings you out from 100-something feet away. But somebody's got to make the call, and that's usually the best angle. And that was a really close one, but it's hard to argue the call right there, yeah? Yeah, I think you got it right. At the play, Kyle Higashioka. First pitch doesn't find the zone. One and out. Two down, nobody on. Slice down the right side. Here's a 1-1. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. One one is fouled off. And a pitch. That misses. Ball two. Two two. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Everything came together for him. Not much to this the one other than just man. a willingness to go Lake the other girl. way and put the ball in play. That's go a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Here comes Glaber Torres. Oh. 
Pitch misses inside. 1-0. and oh. Higashioka off of first with two away. Next yeah. offering is in for a strike. One, one. pitch keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball the pitch missed inside with the curb got him and that's the inning the Yanks leave one. Score remains deadlocked at one. Back in the Bronx. All set for the start of the inning. At the plate is the Astros catcher, Martin Maldonado. Rodone back to work. And a good eye there. Maldonado, a former Gold Glove winner, hitting ninth in today's lineup. And he was born in Puerto Rico. Flips the corner, and it's one and one. Puerto Rico doesn't just produce baseball talent. It produces Hall of Fame talent from Roberto Clemente to Pudge Rodriguez. Edge of the zone for a strike. Going to count one and two. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. And that one almost got him. Why to kick the pitch? Swing and a miss struck him out. Well, that was a really good job setting him up right there. Pitcher and catcher working Nevada. together to finish him off. Right Fastball. And even Kyle. though the location probably wasn't what he wanted, the sequence is what got the job done. Clearly they with the swing after seeing the off-speed stuff on the pitch before. Kyle Tucker up next for the Astros. In there and it's 0-1. Singy Kyle Tucker has done a little bit of everything. He's won a World Series. He's been an All-Star. He's won a Gold Glove. And a guy who was the fifth overall pick in the 2015 draft. The wind of the pitch. And that one wrapped foul. He's been a guy that can kind of fly under the radar, but not so much anymore. Everyone's aware of the damage that he can do in that lineup. But the guy that's kind of old school, doesn't wear the batting gloves, just goes up there and rakes, got a great arm in the outfield as well. Definitely the pride of Plant High School in Tampa, Florida. On the ground to the left, LeMayhew. In plenty of time to first, and Tucker is now retired. Designated hitter. Mauricio Dubon. Now here's the Astros designated hitter, Mauricio Dubon. 0 for 1, he flat out to right this first trip. Ground ball to the right side. Rizzo steps on the bag, and that will end the inning. 1 2 3 go the Astros. Still tied, 1-1. One, one. And welcome back, Leading set off. for the bottom Florida of the Yankees. third. And stepping in for the, the Yankees, shortstop. Anthony Volpe. Anthony Volpe. And a pitch. That's down and in. That's a ball.
That misses. Nope. Two balls, no strikes to count. The pitch. Rip to the right center. And that should be extra bases. Around first, digging for two. And he starts the bottom of the third with a double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And now Bader up to the plate. The solo homer his first time. Here's the pitch. Runner on the move. It's in the dirt. Throw to third. Save. That wasn't close. Well, maybe he thought he should have gone for a triple instead of a double and just decided, I'm going to take third this way. Definitely using his legs to his advantage right here. And a pitch. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Misses with the 2-0, and he's fired three straight outside the strike zone. Volpe at third with nobody out. And ball four, two aboard. That just came apart right there. Four-pitch walk, and... Guy at the plate was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. DJ. Now it's LeMayhew up to hit. Grounded out his first time. Chris DJ LeMayhew, given name David John LeMayhew. Some people call him by the nickname The Big Fundy. What's The Big Fundy, partner? Well, it's short for The Big Fundamental because he's so good fundamentally, both at the plate and in the field. Next offering is in for a strike. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. Now snap throw to first. And he's back in there. Lefty out of the stretch. Runners at first and third. And that one fouled off. One, two now. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. Well, that's pretty much the dream two strike curveball if you're the pitcher. Like you. Hard Number downward break down. at the very end that just Aaron. dips below the swing path. And yeah. they say pitchers want to try to bounce that pitch right on top of the plate. So that was exactly what he was looking for on the mound. It's Aaron Judge now. Grounded out his first time up. In there for strike one. They say you win. I went to. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. The 0-2. Wouldn't chase oh. that time. 0-2 count. You got the opportunity to expand the zone. Could get the chase there. Let's see what he comes back with next. And now it's even up. Two on, one out. Got him swinging. Certainly a strikeout situation right there. The infield playing That's back, and this pitcher has to step up and hitter. get the swing and miss. Just really nice on. job of attacking the That's hitter down. at the plate. Pretty big two-out at bat coming up now. And now it's Giancarlo Stanton. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. 
That's a little bit low. Corners are occupied with two down. Swing and a miss. And one and one. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. That hits two the one. dirt, and it's two and one. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Valdez moved to first. Back standing. He's in there safely. Runners on first and third, two away. Two balls, two strikes to count for two outs. In the dirt, gets away from Maldonado. Bader up to second, runner at third, holds so both runners are now in scoring position. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. He knew he had a little wiggle room with the oh, open base, man. but now that disappears. We stake to this next batter, and this inning might really break open. Rizzo. Anthony Rizzo steps to the play. Grounded out his first time. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. First offering, misses the mark. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like, he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. Next pitch misses inside. 2-0. and oh. Pressure's on right here. 2-0 count. Base is loaded. You don't want to fall to a three-ball count and then walk in or on. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. Two outs, bases are full. That one in for a strike, two and two. On the ground to first. The flip to the pitcher covering. Rizzo out of the play. Third out. And the Yankees leave him loaded. With three complete, we're tied at one apiece. Welcome back. John Chompy with Chris Singleton and well, set to lead off the fourth, your Don, your Don Alvarez. Alvarez. The wind of the pitch. Called strike right there. Chris Alvarez has turned into one of the best young hitters, maybe one of the best hitters in all of baseball. He's got some of the most raw power in the entire game. Pitch is in for a strike, and the count is 0-2. And that's in the dirt. One, two, yeah, and won that Silver Slugger Award in 2022 in a slugging percentage of 613 and OPS over 1,000. Oh. The next pitch misses. Now two and two. The other way. Makes the catch, and there's one ball. Made a bid for a nice opposite field double down the line. Beautiful swing, but nothing you can do about the result. Third basemen are just used to handling hot shots like that. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And 
And that's through there for a strike. One and one. That's in there. That's strike two. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Struck him out looking. Froze him with the heater at the knees. No, just a beautiful fastball on the inside now corner that, for that backwards K the right there. I think the hitter Shout saw it all the way the coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. And now the center fielder, Chaz McCormick. That misses the zone. Ball one. The pitch. And that's a strike. And now one and two. And now the count is even. The idea was right. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. Next pitch inside. Three and two now. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Payoff pitch. In the dirt. The throw to first. Out number three. Three up, three down that time. We're midway in the fourth, all tied 1-1. Back in New York, Leading ready to go, bottom Yankees. four. Here's the left, the fielder, left fielder, Oswaldo Cabrera. Oswaldo. Cabrera. For you growing up in New York City, I mean, you're a big sports fan. Tell me about your experience with the Yankees growing up. I really went to Shea Stadium more than I did to Yankee Stadium. I grew up a Phillies fan. There was one game, though, that I went to as a kid. I sat in the upper deck. It was the game that Bo Jackson hit three homers in his first three plate appearances and then hurt his shoulder, diving for Deion Sanders inside the park home run. That's probably the most memorable game that I ever attended as a fan at old Yankee Stadium. Field two. Got it by him for the K. You know, variant speeds can be just as useful for a pitcher as now movement. Back. As you see right there, the it really wasn't a great Royal. location. But the fact that the velocity Oka. change had the hitter off balance, and that's all you got to do sometimes. Kyle Higashioka stepping in now for the Yankees. That one misses oh. in the dirt. One and oh. Swing and a miss, strike one. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. And here it comes. And now two and two. And that one is lifted in the air. Tucker should have it. And puts the squeeze on that one. Out number two. Up next for the Yankees. The second baseman. Labor Torres up to hit. Struck out looking at his first at bat. That one misses. And that is ball one.
Ground ball to Brayu. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Yanks held in check. Fifth inning coming up. Tied at one. Back at Yankee Stadium. Now here is Jeremy Pena. Jeremy Pena. Singing four homers in 22 games at Old Yankee Stadium. What do you remember? Well, I remember my rookie year hitting two in one game. And, you know, before that game in the clubhouse, there was a gentleman there who owned a suit company there in downtown Manhattan. And he said to me, hey, kid, you hit a home run in the game tonight. Come over to the store tomorrow and I'll give you a free suit. Next pitch misses, and it's two and one. So I went into the game. I happened to hit two when I walked into the store the next day, and he looked at me and said, you're trying to put me out of business, aren't you? And that was a <laughs> great, great experience that I had as a rookie playing against the Yankees playing in New York. 2-2 two -two now. So did Super oh. Joe give you two suits? Super oh, Joe yeah. hooked me up with two suits. Here comes the pitch. In the air, left field. Makes the grab, one down. The batter, the first baseman, Jose. And here Abreu. is Jose Abreu. 0 oh for 1, he struck out swinging last time. Abreu, a really hard worker, a guy who takes his craft seriously in the batting cages and on the field during batting practice. He's always trying to stay in the big part of the field, not trying to have a home run derby during BP, but understands that those are typically mistakes uh, when you're trying to hit line drives. Next offering is in for a strike. Right side, hard hit. To first, and that quickly two away. The third baseman, number two, Alex. Here's Alex Bregman. Bregman. 0 for 1 with a fly out. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low, throwing the ball very well right now. Found back our way, and that's out of play. 2013 in the playoffs you caught one as the Red Sox played the Rays in the division series I sacrificed a bracelet it was my wrist and my hand no, that's next low. offering oh. is downstairs There's a swing and a drive. That's back. Caught just shy of the wall. Nothing doing for the offense that time. Last half of the fifth coming up. All tied 1-1. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And the stepping Yankees. in for the Yankees, Anthony the Volpe. Anthony Volpe. The wind and the pitch. And fouled off. You know, these Yankees finding ways to get on base, but they still need help driving them home. They've had their chances with runners in scoring position, but nobody's been able to deliver a big hit in those situations. Swings and sends a rocket to right. Tucker calls it in and there's one away and you got to give some credit to the other side as well they've been able to get out of a few now tough jams but Center frustration Fielder. is mounting for this Harrison. offense no doubt Bader. Harrison Bader digs in now he's already homered here in this one and first offering is fouled off And he deals. Turned on, but foul wide of third. Kicks and deals. And there's a the ball. Two strikes.
Bounced up the middle. Altuve slings to first. And a couple of quick outs. First of all, that's just a yeah, nice man. job to even get to the that ball. Baseman. And then even more DJ. impressive was the throw. Off Love balance. Mayhew. Had to try to end the air, get his shoulders turned, and make a strong throw. Does show off the strength of the arm. We're usually used to seeing that kind of arm strength from the shortstop. LeMay Hugh, the next to hit, takes outside. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he is attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. Next one misses, and the count is 2-0. Just missed. Aaron Judge waits on deck. Here's a 3-0. There's the strike. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Three-one now. And now the count filled up three and two. This game has been so tight, feels like the next team to score will win it. And a pitch. Ground ball up the middle. Now Tuve handles it to first, and he beats it. With two outs, you just want to find a way to keep the line moving no, like for the next guy. Number so number. an infield single right there Aaron. does the job. Nicely done, yeah. just putting it in play and getting down to first to keep this inning alive. You never know what might come next as a result. Here is Aaron Judge. MVP! MVP! That one wow. not close. And that's ball one. Chris Judge has been an exit velocity monster, leading the league in exit velo in 17, 18, 19, 21, and 2022. Yeah, he makes that hot corner at third base. <laughs> the next offering oh. misses. And that's ball two. Fought off foul. LeMayhew, the runner at first with two gone. Line drive, base hit. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch you could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Here's Stanton now. This one blasted deep to left. up the dugout and they take the lead it's 4-1 one. one pitch one swing one home run yeah you can say that's efficiency right there didn't need much time in the box to make an impact love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat you watch him from the on deck circle so when you step in the box you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at really good job by the hitter total conviction on that swing and here is anthony rizzo that misses the zone ball one Left-hand hitter waits. And that one off the outside edge. 
Activity in the Houston bullpen. Luis Garcia up and throwing. Belak warming up as well. Fouls one off. Two and two. Next offering misses down and away. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, he's normally going to fill up the strike Next zone and game. really limit base runners, no but his command in this one just oh, well seems done. off out there. A lot more Good walks round. than he's used to giving up. Cabrera stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Now one and one. One and one. The one and one. Swings through that one. Two, two. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Yankees with a three-run shot. It's now 4-1. Back here at the ballpark, top the six. Actual. And here's the catcher, catcher. Martin Maldonado. Maldonado. Rodon back to work. There's a strike. Well, these Astros, from what we've seen, I think it's fair to wonder if they've been too patient at the plate. They found themselves behind in the count quite a bit. They're trying to be patient, but it's mostly resulting in outs, not base runners. And you could argue it's making things more difficult at the plate. Well struck right field. That's down. One hops off the wall. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. So the Houston lineup turns over. Here's the Astros leadoff man, Kyle Tucker. That's in for a strike at 95, and it's 0-1. That one ripped. Bader going back. Back some more. That's down. One hops off the wall. Throw comes in. Runner stopped. Second and third. Nobody out. Two hits for him in this one. Both for extra bases. Got to feel good about that. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. And maybe they've got something going here. Trying to get back into this one. Mauricio Dubon now at the plate. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Maldonado on third. Tucker at second with nobody out. Next pitch is outside. One and one. One and one. And now the lefty.
lifted in the air, right center field. Judge cutting across. Flashes the leather on the running catch. And there's one down. The left fielder, number 24, Jordan Alvarez. Here's Jordan Alvarez. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging, too. First pitch, just misses. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable, and because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. One one now. And that's down it away. Two balls, one strike. Right. Check swing, but he went too far. Two and two. two. One down, rudders at second and third. Hacks and misses, it's a strikeout. Well, he just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count off the two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. So here's the Astros cleanup hitter, Jose Altuve. One for two with an RBI double back in the first. And that's in there for strike one. Two on, two outs. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. One runs in. The second run scores. And they trail by one. In there safely. Well, well that was an important at bat in this game. So a great job there stepping up to the challenge. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it. And, man, he wasn't fooled at all. Chaz McCormick will hit next. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. That one's in there, and that's strike one. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Hold those runners! The old one. And it's fouled away. Line drive, base hit. Runner around third. He scores to tie it up. It's four to four. Huge game tying at bat right there. Came through in a big spot to drive in the run. Pretty good fastball location. Down and in on the corner, but that was just a nice job to handle it. Hit it hard. Very tough spot to get the barrel to most of the time. Though. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Jeremy Pena up next for the Astros. Upstairs. For all the big postseason hits Jeremy Pena has come up with, remember, he replaced a gold glove shortstop at Carlos Correa, and then in his first year, won the gold glove himself. The pitch. In the air, right field. And that ends the inning. So they get three and draw even. Seven, eight, nine, two up in the home half of the inning. And we are tied 4-4. Four, four. Back Your now for the bottom please. of the sixth, and there's now a new pitcher on the mound, Luis Garcia. Number 77, Luis Garcia. And now the catcher Leading comes up, up to him, Kyle Yankee. Higashioka. The catcher, Kyle Higashioka. The pitch. And ball no, one. Is, ball. Higashioka in his fifth season, 32 years old, and he was drafted in the seventh round. 
back in 2008. Tied at four. Two and one. That one fouled off. Two and two. Tied at four. And another ball. That one misses, so a leadoff walk. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice plate appearance. Here is Glaber Torres. Torres goes six foot one, 205 pounds, and he was born in Venezuela. Swung on, belted. There. He'll circle the bases and they jump out front. It's six four. He ambushed him right there, Siggy. Yeah, swinging on that first pitch, and I think losing one over the fence is exactly what he had in mind as well. That's an impressive swing of the bat to go over the wall to the opposite field gap. And, you know, there are a lot of guys that just don't have the pop to do that, and probably just as many who don't have the approach either. He let that ball travel, and he got great extension on the follow-through to drive it out of here. Now here is Anthony Volpe. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. And the righty deals. And a foul ball. Owen Chu now. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Next offering is foul back. Yeah, the right hander deals. One, two. Foul ball still a one and two count. Righty to the plate. And that one is inside. Can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. That one ripped right center field. That's back there. And it hops over the wall for an automatic double. That ball exploded off his bat and off the warning track as well as it bounced over the fence. And it sounded really good, too. He just put together a really nice swing and just missed a home run. Harrison Bader stepping in now for the Yankees. He's already homered in this game. And yeah, the first offering is not close. That's inside. With the big bats coming up and a home run already surrendered, he's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. Strike on the outside corner. Now two and one. Well, he went inside a couple of times, and now outside, hitter's not exactly sure where to look for this next pitch. 
swing and a miss. It's two and two. Volpe stands at second with no outs. Out there to center. McCormick has it sized up. Puts the squeeze on it. Rounder tags it second. He makes it to third. Good base running to move up with only one out. Here's D.J. LeMayhew. The you know, way these two teams have battled in this game, DJ. you know you need more. Got to continue to add runs if you're going to get out of here with a win. And first offering is fouled off. You know, Boo, D.J. LeMayhew is one of those guys that if you're on the other side and your pitcher's got a no-hitter, he's the last guy you want to see at the plate just because his bat control is so good he uses the entire field. Next yeah. offering is in for a strike. Right-hander kicks, deals. Way high. Bounced up the middle. Over to Abreu. Out number two and another run comes in. Phil Mata gets handed the rock out of the pen. He's into the game with the bases empty. Phil Mata. Aaron Judge the at the plate. Number 99. He's not going to get Aaron. cheated up there. No, he's not. Judge. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Just missed. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. 2-0. Swung on, popped up, left side. Maldonado under this one. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Three runs for him here, and they move ahead. We're through six full. It's the Yankees seven, and the Astros four. here in New York, top of inning number seven. And stepping in for the Astros, Jose Abreu. Jose Abreu. The wind of the pitch. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. And he makes the catch. And a quick out number one. The third baseman, number two, Alex Bregman. Now it's Alex Bregman. Almost drove one out of here last time up. Flied out to the warning track. That's in there. Strike one. Movement in the bullpen. Michael King getting loose out there for Aaron Boone. Canely getting loose as well. Line drive, base hit. Now batting. Catch and man, I'll tell you, a line drive like that into the gap Maldonado. just feels so good. It's feedback that you had everything on time and in control from start to finish with your swing. Martin Maldonado up to hit. Beautiful swing in his last at bat, opposite field knock. And strike one to the catcher.
Bregman, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. That one hammered left field. Cabrera going back on this one. And he brings it into the warning track. Definitely did get all of that one, but man, the wind almost pushed it over the fence and left. Back to the top of the lineup. And now the right fielder, Kyle Tucker. First offering, misses the mark. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. And he flips the breaking ball in there or a changeup. Either one, <laughs> something off-speed. Good arm action on it, whatever it was. Next pitch is outside. The lefty closing in on 100 pitches. At the belt and fires. And a base hit. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Up oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy. Didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep. Took the barrel right to it. And then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Darren Boone makes his way out of the dugout. And he will make a move to the bullpen. Carlos Rodon is pretty good Ladies effort, and, and he exits with a lead. Please. We'll tell you about the new pitcher now when we get back. Number 97 gets Number the ball 97. now. Ron so now the Astros designated hitter, Mauricio Dubon. That one off the mark, 1-0. and oh. Two outs, couple of base runners at first and second. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Yeah. Pitch is in there. And that's strike two. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Bader should have it. And that is the third out of the inning. Two left for the Astros. And they're on the wrong end of a 7-4 score. For the traditional double-hitting stretch. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the DH, Giancarlo Stanton. Let's go, one more time, baby. And a pitch. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. Giancarlo Stanton goes deep, and they add a run. It's 8-4. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you're going to hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient and waited for it. He's like BP all over again. Anthony Rizzo stepping in now for the Yankees. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Kicks and fires. That one down the line, and that's just foul. Next pitch just misses, and a count one and two.
The 1-1 is fouled off. That pitch just misses the inside corner. Two and two. Bounce to the left side. Rizzo out of the play. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter, and a tough one at that. And next for New York, Oswaldo Cabrera. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Righty delivers in the air, left side. That gets down for a hit. Been a pretty rough game at the plate for him so far. A bunch of strikeouts, so that felt good, I'm sure. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff with base hit. And the batter now. On the ground, could be two. Altuve to second, on to first, double play, and that's the inning. One scores in the inning, coming on this solo home run. It's now 8-4. Back after this, on the show. Back now in the Bronx, ready to begin the eighth. Now the left fielder, Jordan Alvarez. And the pitch. That takes oh. low for ball one. Looking to get something going. This is the guy you want at the plate. He's been great for this team. He is a professional hitter. Wait. Next offering. Pop foul off to the right out of play. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Pulled the string of the changeup. And now oh, here is Jose Altuve. Jose Altuve. Off the mark there. And it's 1-0. And he takes a strike. pitch that right, one's two. in there and a count one and two one ball two strikes three. sets him down on strikes fastball the letters frozen for strike three two outs now base is empty and next to hit for Houston yeah. Chaz McCormick, McCormick. That's in there. That's strike one. Some guys are just more confident they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. And the 0-1. Gets him to chase after that one. Real ugly 0-1 swing right there as a pitcher. Got to be hunting for that strikeout. Keep him off balance. Send him back to the dugout. 0-2 now. And down on strikes he goes. And it's a three-up, three-down inning. Nothing doing there for Houston. 
They're unable to make a dent in an 8-4 deficit. Bottom of the eighth. Here's Glaber Torres. The, Yankees, the second baseman. Glaber Torres. And a pitch. Good eye right there. One and up. There's the strike. I think he was sitting off speed there. The 1-1. Good eye in that spot. And yeah, that's outside. And that's ball four. You know, Boog, it's been said these guys are savages in the box. You can see it right there with such tight plate discipline. That's shortstop. And up next for New York, Anthony Volpe. Volpe. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Torres gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Let's go, Yankees. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. Oh, well, that's that slurp right there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Next offering is fouled back. And here it comes. One, two. This one high in the air to left center. McCormick has it sized up. And there's one down. Now batting center fielder Harrison. Bader. So the batting order turns over. Here's the Yankees leadoff hitter, Harrison Bader. Hit on the ground, might be two. Over to Altuve. What a double play that was. Inning over. Three up, three down for him there. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Yankees eight and the Astros four. New pitcher for the Yankees, Keenan Middleton. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. So digging in, Jeremy Pena. Leading off for Houston, the shortstop, Jeremy Pena. And he deals. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Middleton, in his sixth season, he features a four-seam fastball, a slider, and he works in a changeup. Swings and misses, struck him out. Not the best location with the fastball on strike three, but when you're pumping high 90s, you'll get away with some of those. More margin for error. You know, the fastball has become such a huge strikeout pitch in the sport. I think a lot of it has to do with all the attention and emphasis on improved spin rates. These fastballs are just exploding out of the pitcher's hands and jumping through the zone. Abreu stands in now and watches strike one. pitch 
They say you win. The punch out there, and he's down on strikes for the second time today. Very strong coming out of the pen so far as he punches out the first two batters he's faced in this one. Getting straight to work. Man, it's talked about a lot, but relievers are just so electric these days. These aren't fun at bats if you're a hitter. I'm so glad I'm retired. Bregman in the box now. No balls in a strike. Hey, seven straight strikes to start the frame. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. Two outs. Got close to the immaculate inning, and he just couldn't find the zone right there. When you think about it, nine straight strikes, so tough to do. Here's a 1-1. Just off the outside part of the plate. Not the best swing that time from the first round pick. Just one strike away. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. These guys had the long ball working for them today. Four home runs had a lot to do with them coming out on top. And our final here today, 8-4. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long. Victorious Yankees, eight runs, ten hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. For the Astros, four runs on eight hits, no errors. They left four men on base. Time with the ball game, three hours and 26 minutes. Our paid attendance here at Yankee Stadium this afternoon, 47,309. The Yankees thank you for attending and remind you to please get home safely.